your favourite. Wish him well. Here we go out of turn number four. The Aussie title is underway for 2023. So Goodyear leads them down into the TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes turn the first time and he has scooted right away with this one. Luke Dillon's in second place for the moment. Here comes the slide jobs. Madsen and McHugh are right there and also at the second of the Madsons and Kerry Madsen. Kerry Madsen puts one on Lachlan McHugh but while all that's going on if for second, third, fourth and fifth our race leader Jock Goodyear has straightened the field. And Callum Williamson trying to get himself through the field. He's up into uh, fifth spot right now, Callum Williamson on an absolute charge is the man oh. from Geraldton and just managing to get himself past Kerry Manson. So how about that for a fast start from the local lad out in front, John Goodyear. He's your race leader and he is a long way in front already. Two seconds ahead of Ian Manson who got a cracking start as well. Lachlan McHugh had a horror. He was right up against the bike track and lost a fair bit of ground from the start, but it's Goodyear ahead. Back straight we go, early stages of this one. We're working the fourth lap and already up to lap traffic. It's Bradford who goes a lap down just as a sea of traffic. Goodyear was half a second quick on every single lap. That's the advantage of some fresh air. But suddenly that'll evaporate now as he tries to pit pocket his way around the outside of Pinkton and does so down the triple M back straight. Past Bolano, so a couple of lap cars in between now. Goodyear, Madsen, McHugh, Dillon and Callum Williamson are your top five. Yes, that large lap is gone. He's only leading by five or six car lengths now as they run down the back straight. McHugh not far behind. He's got Molino just ahead of him. A lap car as now there's a lap car between the leader and second place. McHugh comes right up behind Ian Madsen as they go into turn number one and two. We've got Brad oh, uh, Maiolo upside down. Maiolo was going backwards, went upside down and it's, uh, a couple of cars have gone in with collateral damage. Lights are out, we're ready to go racing again. So names dropping already, Tate Frost, Robbie Farr, Brad Maiolo on the infield as the Tasmanian Job Goodger leads us back to the Opal Finance Main Straight. Madsen Ian runs in second, McHugh third, Kerry Madsen makes a move on Dylan for a split second and tucks back in behind the South Australian now. Callum Williamson up in the fifth spot now as they come through to complete a lap. Luke Dylan looks racy here tonight in that action line marking 81. So Goodger leads down the back straight from Madsen, McHugh, Dylan and there is Callum Williamson in the three and Kerry Madsen in the two. So Williamson's made his way up to fifth place as they move down the main straight. Goodyear continues to circulate very quickly from Madsen in second, McHugh and then Dylan. Oh, that was close. How he got around Madsen that time, I'm not sure. And Veal is now taking on Madsen as well as we complete lap number nine. And he's going to find his way getting past as well as he swings into the Opal Finance front straight. So Veal moves up into sixth spot. Oh. Kerry Madsen almost manages to take him out, coming out of Maddox to do it. It's getting very close between these two. They're exchanging mobile numbers, and one of them is going to have to uh, just forego the other spot, I'd suggest. Goodge is your race leader. Madsen in front. Veal at the moment up to sixth. 24 laps to go for our leader. A nice left rear tyre will be helping Jamie Veal's course now as the leader comes up to lap traffic, as they saw in the early stages. Makes his way towards Trent Pink, and then Darren Molino moves up as they make their way through turn three and four to complete another lap. Madsen, Madsen going after him down the bottom here, but look who's behind, it's Lockie McHugh in the East Coast Pipelines number seven. So this is where the lap track is going to start to sort people out as Trent Pickton goes infield. It's good you're in front, Madsen. That's Ian Variety and also Lockie McHugh uh, trying to chase him down along with Luke Dillon and Callum Williamson. The leader has just hit the fence, bounces off the wall, comes underneath and puts a lap on the 79 at Chris Coyle. Not far behind him is Madsen and McHugh. And then Luke Dillon has his hands full with Callum Williamson who may just about slide into fourth. Just missed out on that one and loses a little bit of ground as he goes down the back straight and goes very close to the back straight wall as well. Kutja has just extended the lead a bit as he gets into a little bit more of the lap traffic while Lockie McHugh is trying to chase him down as we see Madsen, Madsen slowing. Madsen. Madsen is slowing down the triple M back straight right now and he's brought the yellow lights on. Champ as Goodyear comes past the speed shot. 20 remaining in 
your Aussie Championship for 2023. They move down the back straight. McHugh is out after our race leader as Goodyear leads down up the main straight. The Australian champion, meanwhile, is coming as well. He's up there with Milling and also Kendrick as they run down the main straight. He's made his way to ninth. And McHugh has not allowed Goodyear to get away. There's five car lengths between them as Williamson starting to come up behind the 81 of Luke Dillon. So there's a battle for the lead and also a battle for third. Yep, that battle for third closing a little bit. Dillon and Williamson as they go down the back straight as Milling is getting very All close trouble. to the wall. Trouble on turn two. All and there's crash. a huge incident there at turn two. It's Hallett and Pride. They both collided. Hallett, I think the first car to come into contact and then Pride just had nowhere to go. The red lights are on. On our seven plus coverage of the 2023 Australian Sprint Car title, we go back to green flag racing with 18 on the board. So McHugh to try and mow down Chop Goodger. Where's the first move coming from? It's coming from Jamie Veal trying to get underneath of Callum Williamson who fights back. And now he's got Madsen for company as well. Williamson slides underneath of the 81 of Dillon and moves into third. And Madsen, he dives underneath of Veal and moves into fifth. So plenty of moves all of a sudden as they run, run down the back straight. Goodger still out in front from McHugh and Williamson now to try and mow them down. Almost contact between Madsen and also Jamie Veal a little bit further back as Veal now gets past uh, Stephen Lahr, gets past uh, Luke Dillon I should say. Down the back straight they go. Jason Kendrick's getting himself involved and he manages to swing past as well. Will he make the move stick down the front straight? He does. So Kendrick up to six. Williamson in third. The two West Aussies are making a bit of a charge, but a long way to get to Goodyear and also McHugh. Quality names inside this top ten is the Goodyear McHugh come across Williamson. A further two seconds back there in third spot that it's Kerry Madsen, Jamie Field, Jason Kendrick, Luke Dillon, Taylor Millie, Marcus Dumsney up to ninth, putting Newton into tenth position. More drama happening down here in turn number two. Yellows will come on. We've got two cars, three cars involved. Jai Corbett, Matt Eagle and Taylor Milling who was in eighth position. Who is going home with the number one on the tail tank for 2023? Williamson goes with McHugh. Good year, like a slingshot out of turn number four. He's gone into turn number two. And now Madsen lines up with Williamson as they make their way down the Triple M back straight. So McHugh trying to mow down Goodyear and Williamson needs to uh, get a bit of a scoot on to get underneath of the seven of McHugh. Here's his first slider, didn't quite work. That was Veal on Madsen. So they remain still in fifth and fourth respectively as Goodyear comes up and completes lap number 23. There's a dozen laps to go in the Australian title and Jock Goodyear is looking the goods. His restarts have been absolutely outstanding. He's been able to brain them on the restarts to date. Lockwood McHugh currently finds himself about a second and a half to two seconds back. Callum Williamson is another 1.3 seconds back. And then it's back to Kerry Madsen. Jock Goodyear placed third in Archerfield last season. Is he about to go to the top step in the 60th anniversary Australian Sprint Car title? He's 10 laps away. Margin starts to stretch out a bit now. Goodyear, McHugh and Williamson. It's out to three seconds between the top three. They're up as high as you fear to go here at the Motorplex as Goodyear. He looks in control of this one. The speed has been incredible all weekend long in the Goodyear Developments car. McHugh not giving up and rightly so. It'll be eight laps to go this time by with Goodyear, McHugh and Williamson. They will have to pass lap traffic if it remains green and that is going to be the only way McHugh is going to catch our race leader who made a mistake coming out of turn two. Oh, and trouble for Corbett and they've missed him. Yellow lights will come on. McHugh wants to be a magnet on the back of the 22, but again, the 22 is supreme on the restart. He certainly is. He just gets away every time. McHugh is there. So too is Williamson. Field puts another slider on Madsen. This time it works. He goes back to fourth. Madsen back to fifth. And here comes Jason Kendrick. And Callum Williamson nearly sneaks underneath the McHugh as uh, Madsen just hangs on as Kendrick puts a slider on for fifth. Kendrick is going to try his hardest to get up to fifth spot, but Madsen manages to battle his way back. A little bit further back, here comes Dumsley and Coyle. Out in front, good, just tell your leader. Six laps to go. He's just gotten away once again from McHugh. Then it's Williamson, then it's Veal, then it's Kerry Madsen. And Dumsley has moved himself up into 
six spots. Look at this, three cars now. Dumsley is ahead of Kendrick. He's up in a sixth position in the Valvoline number one. What a recovery from two crashes and having to start from the tail of the field. In the closing laps of the Australian titles, Kendrick and Coyle go side by side down the triple M back straight. So John Goodger is just four laps away from an Australian title. Again, he gets precariously close to the wall over there on turn three. He comes out of turn four. It's Goodger who leads from McHugh. Back then to Williamson in third place. Veal is fourth and then back to Gary Madsen in fifth place. They run down the back now. There's a lap car hit. They've got to negotiate, but he's down low. They'll get around the outside of him. And Goodger leads with two to go. John Goodger, he's got one kilometre left to become the 2023 Australian Sprint Car Champion. He's got Lachlan McHugh trying to chase him down, but he's only got one more to go. Motorplex, we're about to create some history. John Goodger comes into TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes turn one into the back straight. It is going to be a Tasmania double. The Formula 500 champion from Tasmania. And John Goodger is your Australian Sprint Car Champion. He takes it out from Lachlan McHugh. Callum Williamson in third. Fourth goes to Jamie Veal and Kerry Madsen back in fifth. Marcus dumps the outstanding finishing six. Then Chris Coyle, Jason Kendrick, Luke Dillon, Ryan Newton and then Sean Bradford. But ladies and gentlemen, your Australian Sprint Car Champion, it is Jock Goodyear. Well, how about that? Third last year, dominated this race from the outset. And straight to the scales, the Platinum Prince Goodyear Developments number 22. The 21-year-old from Launceston, he won the Aussie Formula 500 Championship in 2020. And pending the scales, will be crowned your 2023 60th Australian Sprint Car Champion. Waiting for the clear. It looks good. He's going to get a chance here to celebrate, perhaps. And why not? He's got the checkered flag. He's coming your direction. Perth Motorplex, you've witnessed some incredible racing. Yes, we saw a lot of damage. 11 cars finished. But nobody, I mean nobody, was going to stop him tonight. He wanted it. And he has got it. Through turn number four. Up on your feet. Plenty of noise. Your new Australian champion, John Goodyear. The Tasmanian picks up the win in 2023. Yeehaw! Scared the photographers a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, what an amazing weekend this man has had.